YouTube, your boys back with another video. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Hope y'all keep subscribing. Hope YouTube stops shadow banning me. I, I I send an email out to them. Hopefully they'll give uh content. I mean, hopefully they give me a response back of the content I've been making, so y'all guys can come down your timeline. Y'all can see the notifications. So when I go live, when I make the videos, because a lot of y'all, I've been missing y'all, man. I'm missing y'all comments, man. We trying to grow this channel to the best, best part channel ever. I don't know if we're gonna reach the potential. To get, I want to change the whole couple right there. I, we got to put them in the GOAT discussion. You got to be the Shannon Sharp and them laugh at your read. They had a debate, Stephen A. Bitch and uh, and Tim Lugger straight up just straight Kobe Bryant. I did not like ESPN and Holly handled that say when Kobe got named up, brought up by a former NBA player that won championships. And, and I didn't like the response they got. I think I want to make, I want to get into writing a book. I'm going to write a book. I don't know if I got to get Vanessa Bryant, you know, approval of it. But I want to write a book. I want to give it. A, I, I want to write it. I want to be a bestseller. That's my. That's my thing for this year. I want to be a bestseller. I want to write a Kobe Bryant book about how great he was in the intangibles and all the st and all the bullshit flaws that the NBA tried to keep him away from. I want to. I got. I got to. But with that being said, let's talk about LeBron James and the Lakers hanging up a in-season tournament banner, a high school banner, to represent what they did for some shit that didn't even count against them. It didn't even count, because it, it, it don't count. It goes to your uh, NBA stats. We finna go to watch the Lakers in Dallas. Who y'all got tonight? Tell me, drop them below. But I want to, well, let's get back into this. It is so embarrassing, ladies and gentlemen. I said this in my video two days ago, and I said it yesterday. It's embarrassing. You hanging up a, a banner? Like, Kobe looking down like... Oh, oh, these niggas serious. They really, they really taking this. Sh they, they really. If, if Kobe Bryant was alive, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, you think Kobe Bryant and Kobe Bryant was playing? You think Kobe Bryant would want them to hang up an in season tournament banner? Like, what the fuck? You know, what is that? I'll be honest with y'all. To be telling the truth, Kobe Bryant, probably took, Kobe Bryant probably even took this shit seriously. They probably would have been knocked out of the tournament because he probably wouldn't even took it that seriously, to be honest. In fact, as, and that's as competitive as he is. As competitive he is, he wouldn't even take it I believe that in my heart. It's like, I got bigger goals. Kobe set out of a, a last season game. You know how important is this your legacy? Because Kobe could have chased it a third scoring title, and Kevin Rooney had three, and Al Iverson still had his four. And Kevin Rooney had four scoring titles. Kobe could have had that score. He would, I had to just go, go up. Sorry. Excuse me. Talking a little too fast. Let me slow down. All he had to do is go out there and score 38 points. In the last game against the Sacramento Kings at that 2012-2013, that 2010-2011 season. He was 27.8 points a night. Kevin Rooney was 28.0. He needed point one. He didn't end up being one point, and he needed 38 to get the scoring title. He set out that game because they say, I'm trying to rest up and get ready for the championship. Now, Kevin Rooney ended up getting the scoring title and knocking the Lakers out that season. That's when they got Ramon session. Everybody made it. Big fuss over. He got Ramon says like Ramon says with somebody doing some little numbers in Cleveland. But he wasn't nobody. Yeah, I go. Yeah, I I, I go way back. I know basketball. I, I, yeah, I remember Ramon sessions for y'all. People don't know that it was. Yeah. Anyway, so he could have got a score and tried to add that to his legacy. He said, "No, I got to rest up, and I, that ain't important to me at this time." He 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 stood on what he believed. That wasn't important. To me. So this shit wasn't gonna be important to him. But how embarrassing the Lakers organization come to. When they say we got to hang in a banner that our stats in that game don't even count in the record books. But we're going to hang the banner up. Let that seek in, ladies and gentlemen. Let that seek in. And the people talking about, well, they, 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 they compete, right? Well, well, they're supposed to compete. You get mad because you competed in one? Well, I seen the last thing was meaningful that he competed with. I seen him get swept. I seen him had two chances to tie the game and not get swept. And he threw up a fucking jump shot offside of the backboard. I seen a little six foot three nigga block his shot. Tie his ass up and Eric Gordon couldn't finish and block the shot. That's what I seen. I seen he had two chances to tie the game up and try to somehow make it a series, even though it's gonna be three one nuggets. I seen that. I seen him be ass in his 21 straight threes in the in in, 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 in the playoff. I seen him only score 30 points twice. LeBron scored like 30 points like four times during the in-game tournament. This nigga only scored 30 points in over how many games they played last year? They got swept four games. Beat Golden State in six. Beat the Memphis in six. That's 12. 12. So they play six, six, 12. 12 plus four is 16. He played a 16 playoff game last year. The men only cracked two times 30 points. 
got NBA record missing 21 straight three. He made, he scored what three or four games in a deep, I think out of the seven games he scored like four or five 30 point games. At least three. So in that so what what are we really saying? We said against the tougher competition, the shit gets stiffer. LeBron James can't be dominant. But when against sorry ass teams, I think like each already played the fucking Memphis Grizzlies, no no job course, obviously. No Marky Smart play just bad team. Portland Trail Blazers, like who was the Portland? They want to worst team. Like we gotta cut this shit out. For LeBron James, y'all gotta cut this shit. This is embarrassing, y'all. This this year right here, y'all going to y'all going to destroy. And LeBron doing a great job of himself. Is embarrassing his career and destroying his legacy with trying to prop this shit up as his something. The last two things LeBron James won was a bubble championship in Florida. In an in-game tournament, and we want to put that up against Jordan and Kobe Ryan Resident. That's be a shame, your damn self. And I end the video saying that. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video, comment this video. I'll see you on the next one.